Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a vector octopus icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new artboard, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'm going to select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And I'm going to remove the fill and select the stroke and in the strokes palette, just increase the weight. Let's go for about 16. So this is going to be the main body of our octopus icon. And then next, select the pen tool and we're going to create the tentacles now. So just left click anywhere on the artboard and draw a vertical line, not perfectly straight, just slightly off to the right and left click again. And what we're going to do now is again, just slightly off to the right on a slight angle, left click and hold, just drag out that curve and let go. And then go up to select, deselect. So we've created half of a tentacle. So what we can do now is we can select this line we've just created, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then object, transform, and reflect this along the vertical axes. And if we just hold shift and drag this one out, if you've got your smart guides on as well, it will make this a lot easier. So just go to view, check you have the tick next to your smart guides. And as you snap these two halves together, you'll see the pink guides let you know that they are perfectly joined. And you can check this in preview mode by pressing Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC. And you can see that the lines are perfectly joined up. And if you select the direct selection tool, just drag over both of these endpoints. So where the two halves meet, go to object, down to path and select join. So now our tentacle has become one complete line. Next, what we're going to do is again, go to edit down to copy, edit, paste in place and hold shift and just drag this out to the left until it snaps in place. Again, look out for the pink guides to let you know it is in place and select the rotate tool. And what we're going to do now is the top right anchor point on this tentacle, just single left click. And what that does is you'll see that it sets the cyan registration mark on that anchor point. So as we use the rotate tool now, it will rotate around that as our central point. So you can see as I rotate, that point that we set by left clicking is now the point that we rotate around. So let's just rotate this up slightly so that you should have something like this. And again, just select the direct selection tool, drag over these two endpoints here and go to object path and join. So now all of these lines are joined together. Now you may get something like this where you have a big spike in the middle. What we can do is just select all of these lines we've created and in the stroke palette, just set the cap to round cap and the corner to rounded or round join. And it just rounds off all these edges nicely. We can rotate these around a little bit more as much as we like. So it's something like this. And then what we're going to do is again, with that selected, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, drag this to the right holding shift, and then go up to object, transform, and reflect this along the vertical axes. Hold shift and drag this to the left until it snaps in place. And one last time, select the direct selection tool, select these two central points, go to object, path and join. So now we've joined all four tentacles into one complete line. And what we can do now is if we select both of our shapes, so the four tentacles and the circle, along the top of the screen, you'll see the alignment options and we can align these centrally. 
So you'll see they line up in place there and we can just move the tentacles up. Now, if you go back into preview mode, remember that's command Y on the Mac, control Y on the PC. Just make sure that the lines all touch. So all of these lines go inside the circle above. Or what you can do is drag this back down, select the direct selection tool and just left click on this anchor point over here and just drag that up. Make sure you keep the line straight and just drag that up so that it meets. We don't want there to be any gaps. Next, what we can do is select all of the shapes and in the Pathfinder palette, select the top left option, which is Unite. And it will combine this into one complete shape. Next, we're going to select the Ellipse tool again, and we're going to create some eyes and a mouth. So just left click and hold Shift. Use the Direct Selection tool to select this bottom center anchor point and just hit delete or backspace to remove that. And then what we can do is if you left click and hold on the pen tool and select the add anchor point tool, you can see here that it highlights the half of a circle we have. Just click anywhere along that. And then with the direct selection tool, just select that bottom anchor point and hit delete or backspace and then the anchor point on the bottom right. And again, hit delete or backspace. So we're now left with pretty much just less than a quarter of a circle. And we can select this, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, object, transform, reflect, and reflect along the vertical axes. Hold shift to drag that out. And again, with the direct selection tool, you can see here that I didn't actually join these up properly, so let's just move those so they touch. And with the direct selection tool, then we can drag over these two anchor points, go to object, down to path, and then join. So we have one of the eyes as one complete shape now. And we can then select this by going to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and just hold shift to drag this out alongside. We can select both of these eyes, go to object and group these together. Now what we can also do is select the eyes, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and just drag these down. Now this is going to be the mouth as well. We only need one of these, so we can go to object, down to ungroup, and just pick one and hit delete or backspace. We're going to then move the remaining shape into the middle and then using the rotate tool just rotate that 180 degrees. So we have the eyes, the octopus shape itself and the mouth that doesn't quite look like it's rotated 180 degrees. Let's try that again. There we go, that's a bit better. So what we can do now is we have the eyes, the octopus shape and the mouth and we can select everything and in our alignment options at the top, we can align these centrally to each other by clicking. And that's just a really handy way to align everything on your artboard centrally. And it's especially effective for something like this because this shape as a whole is symmetrical. So there's a lot of copying shapes, creating halves, rotating, flipping, and it makes it very easy to create a shape that is perfectly symmetrical on both sides. So we can group all these facial features together by selecting them and going to object down to group. And we can select our entire octopus and then go to object group. And if we select this little drop down arrow at the top here, we can select align to artboard. And then when we select some alignment options, so if we align it horizontally central and vertically, it will align it to the artboard rather than a selection. So now we know that our octopus is in the middle and we can drag over the shape. And with the stroke selected, 
we can select a color and what we can also do to finish up is I'm going to select the direct selection tool and just drag over the facial features and I'm going to decrease the weight of these slightly and then once you're happy with all of your stroke widths you can select everything and go to object down to expand leave fill and stroke selected and click OK and then as you scale up or scale down your octopus the stroke width will scale proportionally and they won't remain the same and there we go that's how we draw a vector octopus icon in Adobe Illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time